I did it. Oh. Yeah, you got it. You beat me. Yes, I will. Anything, yeah, that'd be awesome. Are you registered to vote? <laughs> As Lexi's mom, yes, I'm still pursuing, you know, raising the age from 18 to 21 at the state level. We're preparing for the next session already. And federal level, we're still trying to ban a complete ban on assault weapons. So I'm never stopping as her mom, as an advocate. But as running for mayor, I really, my main focus is bringing the community back together because we cannot move forward. We cannot see progress until we're on the same page. We are divided right now. Um, you, can, you can see it, you can sense it. Um, my thoughts, just like everyone else, you know, we want to heal, we want to move forward. Um, how we come together is what's gonna really matter. We need a change and if given that opportunity, I hope to be that change. The more local the issue, the less political it is. So if you can take the politics out of it and make it more personal, then it certainly is gonna have more resonance with people. Um, and I think that's what she can do. I mean, she's gonna be able to effectively take this from the kind of hardened partisan battle that it is and make it personal to the families and to the community in Uvalde. One thing I hear, with all of my children, and it echoes my own belief, is that right now, Lexi's legacy is our priority, and we just want to honor her with action, and that's something we all share and something we all agree with. That voting is on Monday. All right. Thank you so much. You want one of these? Thank you so much. Thank you. Y'all have a good time. My wife and I are most definitely going to vote for her. We're most definitely going to vote for her. Because she talked to us out here. I think she's going to change a lot of things. But it's going to take the peoples to back her up. It's going to take the peoples to back her up.